Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. About two days ago now, we saw William Ruto mercilessly attacking Kiraitu Murungi when he was in Meru County. And after those attacks, there were wide outcry among many Kenyans and Jubilee Party came out guns blazing and actually warned William Ruto against attacking Mount Kenya leaders. So I want you to listen in to Rigathi Gashagwa talking again after that incident where William Ruto was insulting Kiraitu Murungi. Listen in to this. <laughs> Ni rafiki ya familia yetu. Ningetaka nikirudi kwake niulize. Mungetaka yeye akue pale ya Ruto ama ya Raila? Mungetaka waziri mmoja akue na Ruto ama na Kitendawili? Wangapi wangetuma kwa waziri mmoja aruke na William Ruto? Yes. That's regarding Gashagwa speaking in Meru. And it's very very rare to find Rigathi Gashagwa talk that way. In most occasions, he has been very, very arrogant and he talks as if already is annoyed. But from there, he seems even to be begging. Hmm? Hmm? He is begging indirectly for Munya, Peter Munya, to maybe work with William Ruto. So it seems that something is not just adding up. So I want us in this video to exactly find out what is cooking behind the scenes. That's our analysis and discussion today. So if in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very, very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Thank you. God bless you. There are five things that I can read from that speech from Peter Munya. And I'm going to explain them in details. The first thing I can read from that speech is that the Tanga Tanga group, or rather William Ruto supporters and leaders, they might have realized that they made a mistake yesterday or a day before by attacking Kiraitu Murungi. And from the response, or rather from what happened after the attack Kiraitu Murungi, it seems that the whole nation, almost Mount Kenya was almost ganging up against William Ruto and his older brigade. So in my considered opinion, I tend to feel that maybe they realized they made a mistake by attacking Kiraitu Murungi. Because in Meru, you will not talk about Meru politics without factoring in Kiraitu Murungi Pete and Peter Munya. Those are the two leading political figures we have in Meru today. So you can't go on attacking all of them at the same time. You have to appease one as you attack the other. So in this video, or rather from that, <laughs> that speech, I tend to believe they're just trying to make up for what maybe they might have destroyed when they attacked Kiraitu Murungi. The second thing that comes out clearly, this is a recognition that Munya is a force to reckon with in Meru politics. You know, again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm one person who strongly believes that if you want the Meru votes, then if you have Peter Munya and then you have Kiraitu Murungi, likely you've blocked Meru County. And this is what is giving Tanga Tanga sleepless nights. They know with Peter Munya and Kiraitu Murungi in Raila's political side, or rather on Raila's side, then largely Meru is wrong. So these leaders, or rather Tanga Tanga, they are trying to appease maybe Peter Munya, or even, they are trying to maybe appease Peter Munya, maybe to give them a favorable kind of a, a hearing to see maybe Peter Munya can work with them. But whether Peter Munya can work with them or not is only time that will tell. But I highly doubt, because the same same people just recently were talking about Peter Munya 
planning to assassinate William Ruto. Yes. And from the way Peter Moja has been talking, the last person who can actually work with William Ruto, in my considered opinion, that person is Peter Munya. Yes. So they are just actually also recognizing that Peter Munya is a force to reckon with in Meru. And then thirdly, Changa Changa are confused and disparate. They are literally confused and very, very disparate. You know, Changa Changa, they have been riding on some overrated euphoria. Mm. They have been riding on false popularity. You know, they painted a picture that they were very, very popular on the mountain. But ne they never took into account the reasons why they were popular on the mountain. First of all, Tanga Tanga or even William Ruto, they might have been popular or perceived to be popular on the mountain, courtesy to President Uhuru Megai Kenyatta. Yes. And as the president will make it clear that they are not together with Ruto or Tanga Tanga, that popularity will not be there. It will cease to be there. And then likely in Meru, because of also Uhuru and these two top leaders, Kiraitu and Munya, that has also made maybe Tanga Tanga to have the perceived popularity even among the Meru. But now those two leading political figures in Meru are now aligning themselves with Raila Molo Odinga. That just means, ladies and gentlemen, that as time goes by, we are most likely going to see a situation where maybe Meru, and I'm saying this with a lot of confidence, we might find Meru voting to the last person to Raila Molo Odinga. I'm saying that without any doubt at all. That's a possibility. And then fourthly, I think Ruto and his Tanga Tanga Brigades they are just trying to cause confusion between Peter Munya and Kiraitu Murumi. You know, you attack one and then you, you appear to be pressing somebody. Uyu ni mchapakazi. It seems they just want to cause confusion. You know, also Tanga Tanga, if you look at their brand of politics, it's one of causing confusion. Raila was in Meru recently and he united Peter Munya and Kiraitu Murumi. Then we are seeing William Ruto going there and he wants to divide these people again. Because largely, their politics thrives when there is division. That's when they thrive. But when people come together, then their politics really not doing well when people are together. So they are just also playing the brand of politics they know of dividing the people. Yes. And then finally, finally, you know, ladies and gentlemen, that after William Ruto attacked Kiraitu Murungi, and even he attacked the president, there were wide outcry. Kenyans were castigating William Ruto, and even some were calling upon NCIC to actually crack the whips on these top politicians. You know, William Ruto of late is coming out as a politician with a very, very loose tongue. He is coming out as very, very abusive and very, very arrogant. So after attacking Kiraitu Murungi, I tend to believe that the ground was starting to get charged. In fact, there were even rumors that after attacking Kiraitu Murungi, in any rally they were to at go or rather to attend, then most likely there were fears that they could even be pelted with stones. But we never saw any stone being thrown to them, a, a very good show anyway. But I tend to believe that they were, <laughs> regarding the Shabba is talking, they were talking, because they had studied the ground well, they knew that the ground was maybe pro Peter Munya. Mm -hmm. Where, I think they were in Maua, something like that. And you know, that, that's an area that Peter Munya likely enjoys some good support. So they might have studied the ground, and they knew the ground was pro Peter Munya. So they wanted to appease that ground. Because if they had talked contrary, or rather if they had attacked Peter Munya, there could have been some kind of an apple. So they were cleverly 
trying to avoid that kind of up an uproar by talking the way they did. Yes. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I can read from that speech anyway. That's what I can read from that speech. So if in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very, very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. And if you are watching us for the very first time and you are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment. Let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. Drop a comment, please. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very, very much humbled and very, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. By constantly giving our videos likes, constantly dropping your comments. God bless you. God bless Kenya. And to any other person who is also a fan of our videos, but you have not yet subscribed, take this opportunity, tap on the subscription button, and also on the notification bell, to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. And if possible also, drop a comment and also give this video a like. Give it a like please, give it a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana.